Good evening, humans. Tyrant Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection morphed April O'Neil and morphed Michelangelo figure figure two pack from Hasbro. I am adoring this subline even more than I thought I would, which is really saying something, by the way. So uh, let's not waste any time. Let's get right in this review. Let's do this. When it comes to aesthetics, Hasbro did an absolutely bang up job here. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of reuse here, but it's used really well. Not only that, but the QC issues seem to be at a, at a minimum to non-existent here. I don't know if that's true across the board, but certainly all the ones I've gotten in this subline have been great. Uh, starting off with April, who obviously has the most reuse. It's literally the Pink Ranger figure we got before. Uh, actually, a few times at this point. But uh, yeah, just some slight differences with the... Uh, the pink being a little bit deeper, but also brighter, which is really nice. This is probably my favorite representation of that. Not only that, but the difference between the limbs and the torso is a little more, like there, there's not as much of a distinct difference. There's always going to be a difference because of the harder plastic for the uh, the main part of the body and then the softer plastic for the limbs, just how it is. Um, but seeing April next to Kimberly here, um, you can see just like a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. Not only that, but the helmet is uh, re-sculpted and oh, and uh, definitely like a little more, a little more rounded. Uh, it looks nice, maybe a little more accurate, which is kind of cool. Um, so that that's a really nice touch. I thought again, they put a lot of love into this subline, and it's great to see. Uh, and then obviously no skirt. Um, and then we go to Michelangelo, who just like the other turtles, uh, I exposed of my love for this mold uh, in the Leonardo and Donatello review, which you should check out after this if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, just like the helmets are super shiny, which is a little weird, especially when you're trying to take photos and stuff. But the uh, sculpt is really great. Paint seems to be very, very crisp. Uh, I love the fact that they're all technically wearing the dragon armor with the, the bands and stuff like that. Shell is super clean. Uh, morphers are really well done and distinct. Uh, so that's just awesome. And I like that they also sculpted in the diamonds on the uh, gloves and boots. So that's just kick ass as well. Um, yeah, shades of silver and gold are just like nice, bright metallics. I love to see that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's all I got to say about aesthetics. We get a really fun and thorough loadout of accessories with this two pack, which is really cool. And uh, I'm gonna start with April since she has the most reuse, reuse sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just come down the line. First, be, uh, that isn't reuse is being the alternate civilian head. And uh, I thought they did a really good job of this. It just, it looks alive. It looks like April. Uh, I don't know how so many companies do it, but even when they, they're not going on a specific, well, I guess this is going off the comic. Uh, and I haven't actually compared compared, but uh, yeah, it just, it, it has an Aprilness to it. So <laughs> uh, that totally works. And then we go to the hands, which are the same that came with Kimberly uh, and the, and Catherine, uh, and Kat rather. Uh, so, you know, you get your gripping hands, which are right on there. And then we get a right chopping hand slash release, uh, bow release hand. And then we get a left fist. Then, Beyond that, we're getting some real fun stuff. So we get a microphone, April being a reporter and all, like really well done with some silver paint uh, and some black paint. I think it this looks like it's cast in white. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, even got the wireless like piece there. Uh, so that's really cool. Then we get a camera. And this is really, really well cast. Uh, this could be used with many other figures. I mean, I, I, I always love that sort of thing. Like it's really well done with some nice details here. And uh, you know, you've got the place to put the tape and like all the nice gears and grip and like all that sculpted in really nicely. Just one little bit of paint here on the lens, but I think that goes a long way. I mean, they did that tastefully and yeah, it works. Then we get into blaster, which we've seen time and time again, obviously just red, red plastic with white paint on it. Then more reuse, so we get the arrow, this time cast in pink plastic. And I think we saw that with at least one other version of the Pink Ranger. Then we get the bow, this time cast in a darker, like kind of metallic gray, uh, pearlescent metallic gray, which is really nice. I actually like this representation of it really, really well. Uh, then we get an effect piece, and that effect piece is the, um, the powered up arrow that we have seen time and time again as well, just done really nicely in this, you know, pink translucent plastic. So we'll use that to segue into Mikey's accessories, looking at his um, effect piece. And I love the shade of purple here. Uh, just really nice swooshing effect that goes on the nunchucks. And 
yeah, looks really cool. Then uh, we'll get into Mikey's alternate head. So his civilian head as it were. And uh, it definitely, it, it reads Mikey. <laughs> Just that like excited yell. I like that like one eye is slightly squinting while the other one isn't. Like it just kind of brings it to life. Really nicely done, clean paint all around. Then we get into hands. So just like we got with the other turtles, uh, we get gripping hands right out of the box. Then we get a pair of fists. And finally, over there, a pair of kind of pose, grasping, beckoning, what have you hands. Awesome. And then one final is obviously a signature weapon, which is his nunchucks kind of morphed together with the yellow ranger powered daggers, which is really cool. Uh, just a little bit of yellow paint on this silver plastic. And as you can see, there's a port and a peg there, and those actually peg together. And that is, I believe, only for when you want to put it in. I don't know if this ties into the comic at all, but please let me know in the comments if it does. I have yet to read it. And uh, yeah, really cool cool well done they look awesome uh nunchucks are so hard to do because they just always have this u shape and it's really hard to get some kind of exciting stuff out of there so i guess your only option here really is heating it up so you can kind of pose the plastic as you want and then hoping it'll go back um so yeah that's accessories articulation is as good as gets here in the lightning collection uh at least as of current and uh, we're gonna start off with april because she is the most reused so we've seen it all before so we got our head which buries the chin really nicely, looks up really nicely. Not too much tilt, but you do get a little bit of something there. We got our butterfly joint. We've got our arms coming up into our T-pose. We have single jointed elbows, which come to 90, and that's where we're gonna get our swivel. We got swivel hinge on the hands, uh, all horizontal. Our ball peg in the diaphragm, and we got our ab crunch at the waist, uh, bringing us forward about that much, back about that. Then uh, at the hips, we're coming out that far, so not too bad. Uh, as you can saw, balance pretty well as well. We got thigh swivel. We got double jointed knees. We have boot swivel. We have fantastic point. Really nice for, uh, forward. And that legendary uh, Hasbro pivot. And uh, so let's get April down. Put her off to the side. Oh, she doesn't fall over. And then for Mikey, we got this new articulation scheme. They really did a fantastic job with these turtles. So ball on the uh, ball on the head, ball on the base of the neck, let you bury really nicely. I get the best range out of Mikey of the four turtles that I have. Um, so I, this might vary. I'm gonna warm the other ones up. Hopefully they get that. We look up really nicely, especially even, this, even in spite of that shell. Then we come down the shoulders. We have butterfly joint again. We're coming up. We're getting all the way into our Y pose. Just absolutely gorgeous range. We have bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows that fold wonderfully in half. We have hinge and swivel at the wrists. Uh, again, weapon holding hands do have vertical and horizontal and everything else. Get into the torso. We do have a ball joint here at the diaphragm, but you're pretty much only gonna get side to side. That shell is going to hinder a little bit. Uh, then we come down to the hips, and we do have a separation here between the uh, the actual hips and the torso. So you can get a little bit of turn there, you can get a little bit of crunch, so you're not obviously going to crunch too far forward or back, but it's definitely something. It's better than a lot of Ninja Turtle figures. <laughs> then we come down to the hips proper, and we do have drop downs, which is awesome, and they're not they're not too loose, they, they just, they actually help. And uh, that's going to give us full-on splits, just insanity. <laughs> so definitely great there. We get thigh swivel, double-jointed knees folding in half. We get boot swivel. We get gorgeous point. Eh, kind of forward. And then again, same with the rocker, and that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here they are with some other Lightning Collection figures. With various other Ninja Turtle lines with some other Hasbro, with some imports, with some monsters, finally with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the Morphed April and Morphed Michelangelo set is that it absolutely rules. Uh, they've again just put a lot of 
passion into this uh, subline and it just looks and feels and just everything about it is fantastic. So I absolutely recommend anyone, especially if you're a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the idea of melding them together in this fashion appeals to you. Uh, so I'm not sure if these are showing up on store shelves at any point, but uh, they are up online in various retailers at, at the very least for pre-order. So I will have links in the description below for where you can either pre-order or pick up yours right now. So that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. And beyond that, uh, I have other ways to support the channel listed in the description as well. Not limited to uh, the music I produce. If you like the intro and the outro, that was me. Um, also, the uh, uh, Beyond Music, I just started Patreon, so please check that out. And yeah, um, so ultra thanks you one last time for watching, and I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.